Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at an Outback Ultralight by Keystone, model number 302 UBH. Now for specs and pricing on this travel trailer, the dealership's information and website will be down in the description below. So let's get started. Let's start right up front with your pass-through storage. Very nice area. You're going to have a power awning with an LED light strip. No. Light to the side. Oh, I'm sorry. Lights are going to be right there. They're still LED. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Coming on down, your outside kitchen. You're going to have a little mini fridge and a pull out with two burner cooktop. Coming right around to the back, there is a nice storage area here. We're a little bit close to another unit, so we can't show you all of it, but you can see that you do have another nice outside storage area. Well, let's go inside and take a look. Coming into this Keystone Outback, this is going to be a bunkhouse model. So we'll start here in the kitchen, which is in, going to be in the middle of your unit. You're going to have a large storage area up above your rectangular sink with a high-rise faucet. Yep. Storage below for your garbage. Nice bank of drawers. Right on around is your microwave and vent. You're gonna have a three burner cooktop with an oven. Very young. And a 12 volt compressor fridge. Yep. Let me come around. We'll finish out the kitchen area with the dinette. It's currently down in the travel position, so you can see that this will make additional sleeping if you need it. And there is very nice accent lighting down below. Nice large windows all the way around with pleated blackout shades for privacy. Your theater seating is going to be here. You're gonna have, um, it reclines with the parachute, parachute pulls, cup holders, and there is some storage here in the arm. Across from your theater seating, it's gonna be your entertainment center. Your controls are gonna be right up here with a storage area, your TV here below. Here is your sound system, and you do have an electric fireplace for some additional heat. Something that's really nice about this unit is even more storage should you need it right here by the door. You have a hanging rod that can be used for coats or jackets or additional um, clothing when you travel. Down below is some more storage. Let's move into the bathroom. This bathroom is going to have two entrances, uh, one from the living area and one from the master bedroom. This has got a, a corner shower with a nice skylight. So Jeremy's about six feet tall. You see he's got plenty of headroom. There's a very little step up to get into it. Nice medicine cabinet centered over your sink and a little bit of storage down below that. On around here is going to be your foot flush porcelain toilet. This entrance uh, directly in front of us is going to go into your master bedroom. I'll let him go that way and I'll come in through the hall. You're going to have a queen size north south bed with hanging wardrobes on both sides and storage up above. Right down here you've got a laundry chute if you'd like to put um, a basket in the pass through below. You're going to have power on both sides, a USB on one side, and there is a shelf right across the top for even more storage. Down below the bed, you have some storage, or it can be used as a pet kennel if you like to travel with your pets. TV. Yes, let me show you where the TV will go. And this does have your second air right up here. Your TV mounting is going to be here. Uh, you will need to put this on a swivel arm, but there's all your hookups. Yep. 
let's come back through the camper and show you the bunk area. The bunk room is going to have a sliding door. And you have a very nice bunk room over here. Your uh, outside storage that you saw at the back is going to be below this bunk. Nice drawers and storage area here. Mm -hmm. All of these bunks are going to be fixed in place. Um, now this top one I believe has a 150 weight limit, but the bottom is 300. And you've got even more storage down below that. Yep. And you do have lots of power outlets in yes. here. And you can mount a TV back here with your hookups being there in the ceiling. All right, everybody, if you like this travel trailer and you need to know the uh, specs and the pricing, the dealership's information along with their website will be down in the description below. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe and follow along with us. Thanks, everybody.